First, on the funding. As we will hear further, there has indeed been a significant scale up in funds, thanks to generous contributions from international partners in order to address uh, the drought impact. But we must be clear-eyed that these funds came quite late during the course of 2022, which has made it more difficult to respond to the requirements uh, of the affected Somali population. We also must be clear-eyed that the drought conditions are likely to continue. There are certainly projections indicating that they will continue for many more months. So even with the available funding, we know that much more will be required and we must continue to appeal to international partners and others to offer generous support. Secondly, in regard to the scale-up, and again, we'll hear more about this, there have been significant increases in the response by, of course, UN humanitarian agencies, but also by more than 200 Somali humanitarian NGOs and local partners. Uh, finally, uh, in regard to the enabling environment, it's incumbent on all of us to make it as easy as possible to reach the people in need. Uh, the Deputy Prime Minister spoke of streamlining processes, and indeed, uh, we're hopeful that there can be even further progress in ensuring uh, rapid clearance of uh, uh, tax exemptions to permit uh, arrival of humanitarian uh, supplies, um, also perhaps additional measures to support uh, transport of assistance across uh, borders into Somalia, and we look forward to continuing to work on that. Uh, clearly, there are still many Somalis who have not been accessed by international and Somali assistance, and we must continue to work together to reach everyone who is in need.